In Thai they say when you direct your thoughts to your meditation object that you're lifting your thoughts, or you're lifting your mind. And it's a good thing to keep in mind that you're lifting your mind above its ordinary concerns, the concerns of the world. You look at the world outside, and sometimes you wonder if these are adults or if they're just children. The way a lot of people behave, the way they speak, is not very inspiring. But you don't want that to be the dominant thought in your mind. You want to think about the people in the world who are inspiring. You start with the Buddha, all the noble disciples. It is possible for human beings to be really, really good, to be really skillful and to be sincere and put out an effort to be as harmless as possible in their search for happiness. And you can be one of those people too. That's the purpose of this, lifting your mind. It's not only feeling inspired by them, but also feeling inspired to act, to take their example, follow their example. So I think of the Buddha, his Dharma, what a fine Dharma it was. Think of all the fine people who have practiced it and gotten results. Make them your standards for what a good human being can be, what it means to be an adult, what it means to be a wise human being, a good human being, a human being who hasn't wasted his or her birth on the human realm. So lift your mind, lift your heart. Focus on the things that will keep it lifted up. This corresponds in the Buddha's description of right effort. There's a passage that's translated as uplift, uphold, excuse me, uphold your intent. But it can also mean lift your mind, lift your heart. So do what you can to keep your heart lifted up. Because otherwise we just spend all our time running around after gain and fame and pleasures and praise. And those things will turn around and show their other side, loss, loss of status. Criticism, pain, back and forth. There's no real attaining of anything there. You attain things and then they slip through your hands, slip through your fingers like water. And the qualities of mind that get developed as you're running after those things are not all that inspiring. So try to be inspired by those whose lives are, are inspiring. Keep them in mind. So that maybe you can be one of them too.